Since 2020, the planet has been in a cold phase known as La Nina. Uh huh. But now scientists are saying that La Nina has ended. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper has more on what this could mean for our weather for the rest of spring and summer. El Nino and La Nina. We use these weather terms to describe a global weather pattern. La Nina, which we've been experiencing for a few years, has a global cooling effect. Despite this overall cooling effect, last year was still the planet's sixth hottest on record. The warm phase, known as El Nino, can boost global temperatures and tends to bring warmer winters to Alaska and the northwest U.S. NOAA scientists have recently declared neutral conditions, meaning no strong signs of La Nina or El Nino. However, there are signs of El Nino forming during the summer of 2023. So what could this mean? Well, we know our temperatures are warming with our changing climate. Add in an El Nino summer and we could be in for a hot one. As far as hurricane season, there could be reduced hurricane activity in the Atlantic. And there's also some new research linking El Nino to more frequent atmospheric rivers on the West Coast. Now, the next update for if we stay neutral or start heading into El Nino comes in mid-April. So stay tuned.